we decided to enter construction 3D printing about three years ago, and that was the result of a very simple work that we did. We looked at how many classrooms uh, need to be built in a country like Malawi, and the answer is 36,000 classrooms according to UNICEF. And we calculated that with existing construction methods, it would take almost 70 years to build all those classrooms uh, if all the contractors during those 70 years build classrooms every day uh, um, to clear that backlog. So clearly, we came to the conclusion that 70 years was way too long because it means that a child who is born today has no chance to go to school if uh, we don't find another solution. And that other solution that we found is construction 3D printing, which we believe is the only technology that has the capacity to disrupt construction and to come up with a solution that can clear the school backlog in a country like Malawi in less than 10 years. So that again, a child who is born today has some chance to go to school before he turns or she turns 10. And that was our main decision factor that this solution, although it wasn't fully ready, had the capacity to disrupt and bring speed and efficiency to a sector that desperately needs that uh, solution. We've been using our printer a lot, and the most recent project that we delivered is the largest affordable housing project to be 3D printed in the world, and it is in Kenya with 10 houses that we just delivered in Kilifi on the coast of Kenya as part of a 52 unit project that we have just started. So we are super happy with these first 10 units. At the scale of the industry, it's really a clear milestone showing that we can move from prototypes, from show house to really a commercial scale. And this is that first step that we've made and we made it in Africa. So Mbule Gardens, what we printed there, these are two bedrooms and three bedroom houses. It took us to print those uh, houses. At the start, we were printing like one house per week. And then we finished the 10 weeks of printing, printing two houses per week almost. So clearly, we've seen an increase in our productivity and we've been able to produce at the end houses in 18 to 28 hours, depending on the size of the house. What is truly impressive with this project is it is that it is a commercial project. It is sold at commercial price and there will be people buying those houses, living in those houses. Those houses will also be green certified by the IFC for their what they call their edge compliance, their edge certificate, clearly indicating that this solution has a lot to contribute to sustainable construction. And also uh, what is interesting to note with this project is that we've been able to achieve a cost per square meter, a build cost per square meter, which is on par with other conventional technology, which is a massive achievement in our industry. And now our target for the next phases of that project is to keep on reducing that cost per square meter. And we have a roadmap that leads us to a minus 20% reduction. So every new phase of that project that we will start and that we will deliver, we will be introducing new innovations that will keep on pushing the boundaries of, of these uh, affordable constructions. The reason why we partnered with Cobody in 2019 or 2020 when we started to implement and, and build the first project was simple. If we want to succeed in that industry, we need to deliver buildings that are of high quality and delivered very efficiently. And in 2019 and 2020, Cobod was already the leader in that sector. So this is why we partnered with Cobod and we've been working with them since then to uh, print all those buildings. So it's all about quality, it's all about speed, it's all about also the costing of those printers. And this is where I hope in the future there will be in the industry some major improvements.